Welcome to historic Nippert Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bearcats. And they've been playing football here since 1902, and the fans are ready to see their team take the field. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day, as we'll see the number one team in the country, the TCU Horned Frogs taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Cincinnati Bearcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Bearcats will kick it away to start. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. So TCU's offense will have the first possession of the game. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure. Holds it in on the left. Delivers the contact. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. If you want to make a statement in a football game, that's how you do it. On your first offensive snap, you go 75 yards and score a touchdown. They have shown up. They are ready to go. Everybody, I think, in shock in the stadium right now. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Anderson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. So Cincinnati's offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I, I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? How do you keep the defense off balance? Because they are a good one. The Bearcats decide to punt it away. This is an interesting decision now for the head coach. You're trailing very early in the game. and There's a lot of football left. But you're in a situation where you could go for it here and try and answer after your defense gave up that touchdown on the opening drive. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got... And he intercepts it. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. Offense working from the pistol. The give to the single back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. They're strong and they're scrawled. Defensive tackles, they're scrawled. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. It's caught. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking for space, it's Kiner. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Trying play action. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. What a snag by the defense. Trying to take it back. 
He's inside the 40. The 20. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. I love defenses that make big plays, that understand what they're trying to get from the offense, understand how to attack it, jump some of these routes, make these interceptions. And then not only that, when you get the football, try to do something with it. Don't... And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, TCU! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Bearcats will send out the punt unit. On third down, you're thinking it might be passed, so the offense goes draw play, trying to fool you, but it didn't work. Defense wasn't tricked. They're able to make the tackle and now set up fourth. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was... Makes the catch on the left. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Man, goodness gracious, this dude is on fire. I mean, he's already got 100 yards. We're in the first quarter. Like, I, I might want to think about double-teaming that guy. He goes to the water bottle. Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They're just about ready to kick it away. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They just haven't been playing collectively as a unit, and if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. Pocket starts to collapse. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Bearcats line up to punt it away. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. So the first play of the drive, starting here from the 45. Off the play fake on first down. He fires to the left side. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. 
you got to start fast. you got to have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, I know everyone expected this guy to put up big numbers, but I don't know if anyone thought he could go for over 2,000 receiving yards on the year, but he did with that last catch. Wow. You know, this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, TCU! And the QB saw it right away. He knew it. As soon as he got that football, he got it in his hands. He loved this matchup, finding the big fella, getting the touchdown. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone. It's Anderson. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. All season long, we've been watching this defense dominate against the run. They're the number one rush defense in the entire country. With a big lead in this game, you cannot run the ball and expect to win and get back in it. He makes a catch. He's off to the races. The 30. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Cincinnati! And once he got loose, it was all over. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And he puts through the extra point. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So Reese with that. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Bearcats! This guy really is the complete linebacker. Not only is he physical, and not only can he play downhill to stop the run, this guy is a weapon in pass coverage. You saw it on that play. What can't this guy do? And the extra point splits the uprights. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. No chance for a return as that ball flies out of the back of the end zone. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here. and Brings it in down the left side. Open runway ahead. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Horn Frog! Yeah, and coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. That one bounds through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap. They've been making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively, you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. 
the offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch at the 30. He gets a block. The speed, the shiftiness, the elusiveness, all on display in that sweet return there. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. And a nice grab with a defender right on him, and he's down at the 20. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal to make college football, no doubt. Now, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. The Horned Frogs want to crank the tempo. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. The ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And the Horned Frogs will try to move the sticks on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. Touchdown, TCU! What a grab and go for the score. Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. It bounds through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get a some yards and get us some points. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Quickly to the tight end. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but it makes life really easy on me on second down. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. The Bearcats have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Unloads it left. Wide open downfield. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right, and maybe the other team doesn't even get a chance to answer can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. Fires to the end zone. And the ball is intercepted. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. He slings it deep to the left. 
And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Well, these two have linked up for multiple touchdowns in this game. They had the look they liked. They were licking their chops, taking a shot down the field. We haven't seen too many. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Using the quick game. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very intriguing first two quarters of football in Cincinnati. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Huge deficit to start this third quarter. They just need to find something to build a little confidence. Yeah, it hasn't gone well. Um, when you're trailing by this much, this first drive, man, does everything matter and hinge on this because every possession in the second half is going to be critical. Yeah, and I think if you're on offense, why hold back? What are you worried about? Nothing went well in the first half for you, and at this point, trailing by as much as you are, throw caution to the wind, be aggressive, and let's just see what happens. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Bearcats will try to pin them back with the punt. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. I don't know if the quarterback read the coverage properly on that one, but obviously the result is an incompletion. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to throw, it's Hoover. Looking to the big tight end. Working that left side. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. The Horned Frogs racing to the line in the hurry up. And Jesse just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. He can be dangerous with the ball in his hands, but no room to return that pick. And they'll go on offense from the 21. The RPO, it's complete. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. To the ground to try to move the chains. And the Bearcats are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own. As well. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking for room. It's Kiner. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. 
None at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Gives it to the back on the draw. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A first down for the offense. Used the play fake, now to throw. He rifles one deep to the left. And this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh-no. That is an oh-no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. And the Horned Frogs want to move quickly. And on that last play, he's now over 400 yards passing. Well, Reese, if you're going to throw for over 400 bills, you got to spread the praise around. Up front, they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback, and his receivers have been winning one on one. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Gets it out quickly. Finds a crease at the 20. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Lasso! Lasso! To throw, it's Hoover. Let's it go to the end zone! It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Well, we know down here when you're throwing into the end zone, the windows are so, so small. If ball gets tipped like that, there are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. On second down, just keeps firing. He wants it all. Touchdown, Horned Frogs! And the beatdown has ensued. This is his personal resume reel, trying to win the Bolitnikoff Award or something. To highlight after highlight after highlight. He's going to go to social media. He's going to post these. Hey, a lot of likes, a lot of love, a lot of shares with those plays. And they tacked on the extra point. That's the end of the quarter, and TCU has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. He'll step out of bounds at the 16 and leave his offense with a long field in front. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. On second down, wants to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Turner. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught over the middle, it's Turner. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. That's it fly. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Offense gets set for second down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. A third and long coming up here. 
The corners are walked up tight. He wants to throw it again. And they got him for the sack. Man, the sack and this offense has just struggled. They haven't done anything right, and they got a full quarter to go. Like, they got to find something in this next quarter to hang their hat on, something to, to leave with some positive vibes. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. TCU has it back, and the Horn Frogs go on offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. In situations like this, offensively, when you've got the lead in the fourth quarter, when you got to run the ball, you go back to the runs that you have the most confidence in, that you can execute in your sleep, and they do it right there, ripping off seven yards. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll. Fires deep toward the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's Seals. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The Horned Frogs will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. The quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Got it! Touchdown, TCU! And the punishment has been extended. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. And what can you say about this offense? One of the most explosive in the entire nation. And they're coming in, I think, every week with the mindset that we're just going to outscore everybody. We are OK going into a track meet. And that's really what we saw in this game today. But opponents just cannot keep pace with them and all of the athletes they have on the offensive side of the ball. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent. And, and as an athlete, it, it sometimes hits you in the face, and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. Back to throw, it's Soresby. Spits it out to the back. It's caught. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Grabbed in the middle, it's Royer. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Fires left. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is there. 
Makes the grab, gets the foot down. Just precision execution on that big play. Well, this offense has just been dialing up explosive play after explosive play. That's a big part of why they have a huge lead at this point. And even in the fourth quarter with that lead, they are still taking shots. They are still being aggressive. Pedal to the metal. He's got an open man. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And he's got it in the end zone for a touchdown. This is an absolute blowout. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. And he makes the extra point. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Let's see what he can do with the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. You've got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, that you're talking about. Catch in the middle. It's Royer. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Win, 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 win. It seems the only obstacle in their path could be getting bored or not paying close enough attention as they continue their run toward perfection. And everything's just lined up beautifully for this team this year. We knew coming into the season they had guys that could go out and make plays and win games. We knew all about the coaching staff, but they've been able to avoid the injuries. The schedule has been difficult at times, but they've been able to overcome those challenges. This team right now, it's like the unstoppable force, David. Everything that gets put in their way, they're just knocking down. Just mowing them down, shutting them down, doing everything they need to. And you know what's great about this time of year as a player? Award season. The banquets are around the corner, the Heisman Trophy Awards, all those the top defensive player awards in the country. Those are all coming their way with what they're building right now. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.